we try to behave as a challenger brand. You know, big company behaving uh, aggressively, trying to do the right things for our brands and consumers. Being a challenger is not a state of market, it's a state of mind. When we first started, uh, we kind of didn't launch to like huge fanfare and say like, we want $100 million to blow a marketing, let's do it. We started with a marketing budget of zero dollars. And so you, you're forced to really concentrate on pricing, assortment, and virality and just kind of that word of mouth in the early days. We think that the way to build a modern brand is to consider um, the consumer, the community, we call them our members, as an extension of our staff. As any kind of brand, um, you need to be as intellectually generous as you can. You need to inspire your base. And if you do that, community will come. Our marketing approach is very much based upon issues advocacy. So we start with our own values. We start with what do we believe in? What change do we want to see? The flipping of the P to the B for IHOP, that took some risk, but again, it was a calculated risk. We did it with a sense of humor and a sense of fun, so that when ultimately we popped the balloon and told people that, that we really were IHOP all along, it was something that they'd feel like they, they had fun playing along with us or playing along with us, as we call it. We're not the biggest spenders in the world, but we still spend uh, into the millions of dollars in, in, uh, in marketing. Uh, I love that to be zero still, but the reality is to build awareness, you have to spend some money. I think it's fascinating because, you know, uh, uh, and, and that's where the challenge brands, they have a chance because, you know, scale doesn't mean anything. You, you can do a very explosive ideas with few dollars. I think often marketers tend to get a great resource and then try to tell them or, or, or edit the work so much that, that, that the brilliance ends up being dulled down and then it doesn't really, I think, benefit anyone. Transparency has been really, really big on our agenda for already 30 years. We believe that people have a right to know what's in their products. I think one of the, the best parts about um, sort of the entrepreneurial um, adventure was that we didn't know what was ahead. We didn't quite understand the heavy lift that was in front of us. And I think had we understood how heavy the lift in front of us was, we might not have walked into this space. And so I'm so glad that we didn't know. I'm so glad for all the things that we didn't know. I think technology has been that kind of level setter or that enabler for everyone to be whatever they want to be. Uh, and it sounds Crazy, right? It sounds like a Wheaties commercial, actually. We are not resting on any laurels. We know we have to keep innovating, we have to keep inspiring, we have to keep moving forward. And yes, we've been around for a long time, but, but I think we've only scratched the surface of what we can do and how we can grow as a company. And certainly we have ambitions. Um, I think we're earning the right to become an iconic global brand.